The ninth building block is your service improvement process. This is how you create a process that ensures continuous service improvement. Now, there are many ways that you can put a process in place to help make this happen. For example, service team building workshops are a great way to improve service between two or more departments. Service suggestion programs can work very well to gather up a large volume of new ideas and sometimes unusual ideas that you would never think of. Service contests are a great way to focus your teams on making specific service improvements or achieving very important results. Moving your staff through attachments and job rotations is a process that can lead to better understanding and regularly brings each department a fresh point of view. While there are many ways to improve your service, having a service improvement process will ensure that this continuous improvement actually happens. Here's one example. In a large organization that we work with worldwide, the service champions are not given their graduation certificates when they first complete a college course. In this company, the certificate is given to the champion's manager. To earn the certificate, the champion must implement some actual improvement to upgrade service, either for a customer or for a colleague. And even that is not enough to earn the certificate. After the action is taken, the champion must ask the customer or ask the colleague for a comment about the service they received. Only when the person served gives a positive comment about the better service that they received from the champion, then the champion has earned the certificate and receives it from the manager. Then, the service champion has truly graduated from the Up Your Service College course. Now, think about how this works. It's a process for continuous service improvement. The ninth building block in the 12 building blocks of service culture is having an effective service improvement process.